A lot of guys, once they finish rugby, they're done with it. Even if after a game they want to get away. I love rugby. It's the smallest detail, talking, sitting with a Farida Priya, talking to a John W. a Skull Burger that really feels the same about rugby. Sitting with them, talking about the little things. It's, it's just unbelievable for me. I, I love doing it and I love rugby, walking out when they, all the fans cheer, uh, singing the anthem, facing, all those things. It's just, everything is just fantastic and uh, I'm going to miss it so much but then that's why I say hopefully I can get back into it with coaching it's in a different way but um, I love everything about rugby. This whole thing with the Blue Bulls, it just was your dream. It was just, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yes, when I was a little boy, I always, that was my dream to play for the Bulls. I've watched Nasput uh, win a lot of games and for the Bulls and just what the Bulls stand for. And then I went to the Bulls for three years at Fantastic, mm -hmm. at uh, underage rugby, played there under 21s for three years. Then I went away to Griquas. And then we, when we came back, Heine Kamea got a bunch of youngsters together. And he, we were no-name no brands. I think there was two Springboks, it was myself and US at that stage. And the rest was just young guys that he thought had the talent. And from there, we, we builded something. And all the guys and all the wives later on, everyone just got so close. And it, it was some, something special that we built over 10 years. And now, uh, six months ago, when we almost said goodbye to each other, it was very sad. And this, But um, yeah, it, it it was a fantastic time and sometimes that whole closeness with the Bulls was probably a problem at the Springboks as well because we always, although we were the Springboks, we stayed, but we're Bulls, we're Bulls and it shouldn't be like that. You should be a Springbok first and secondly you should be a Bull. I think the biggest thing is firstly you must have a dream and if you've got that dream and that burning desire, it doesn't matter what happened, you have to go for that. And, uh, if it happened that there's an obstacle in your way, I, I really believe working harder, training harder, doing everything. That, and I, that's one thing I always say is champions uh, practice with other guys rest. Is do more than any other guy and then you have to get back up there again. I love rugby and uh, I've always loved rugby and sports. And um, yeah, it's just a dream of mine. I would like to get into coaching and uh, the highest thing you can do as a coach is to coach the box. So um, I don't know if I'll get there, but that's my dream. And uh, for now, it's a little bit on the background. But once I'm chasing it, I'm going to do everything to get to that dream. Being involved in that in 2010, going to Orlando, going to Soweto, seeing white people going to areas where they would never go, and then socializing with them, being in the backyards, going to the Shabins, going... Having Bryce together, it was just fantastic. Buying Vuvuzelas, it's, it was unbelievable. I still get goosebumps when I think about it. Especially the semi-final, when we, the first time we drove in there, we just couldn't believe it, that everyone was there, everyone was happy, and even they were actually more crazy than they will be when they had Loftus. <laughs> so it was unbelievable. Although at that stage we were still so sad and we couldn't believe what happened, that was almost another highlight in my career because normally in South Africa, I remember 2003, we came back from that World Cup and there was just nothing. There was a media, we all had to go sit there, hear what they say, but to arrive back, being gutted, walking out there and just see almost 20,000 people standing at the whole airport, just people screaming our names. We couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. I almost couldn't get to my family. And no, then, then John and myself had a chance to say a few words. And no, it was unbelievable. And yeah, we wanted to say thank you actually to the country for standing with us even through tough times and through a very disappointing World Cup.